As we explore the Pacific Ocean, we wanted to reintroduce you to our ship, Exploration Vessel Nautilus. In 2021, we completed a partial refit of Nautilus, making a series of improvements to the vessel's layout and her capabilities. This included constructing a cutting edge mission control center, lengthening the back deck by four meters, installing a new crane, and constructing new cabins to bring even more explorers to sea. Mission control is where ROV dives are coordinated and controlled. It brings all teams and data together into one space, operations in the front row controlling the vehicles, and the science, data, and communications teams in the second row directing sampling efforts and sharing observations. The video engineer controls the live feeds coming in from any of 23 cameras above and underwater, as well as the focus and zoom for our ROV cameras. To their right, pilots sit side by side with the navigator, working as a team to safely operate the vehicles underwater. The navigator controls the ship's movements with the bridge officers, while the Argus pilot maintains ROV depth using a winch control and using the thrusters maintains a big picture view over Hercules. The Hercules pilot controls the ROV on the seafloor, sending commands through its cable and tether for sampling or any of our imaging surveys. This row seats our science, data, and communications teams who coordinate the dive. The data logger records all samples and observations with the watch leader and science team members leading the dive. They do this with the help of a team of scientists ashore. A science communication fellow helps share the dive as it's happening, facilitating conversation around the context of our discoveries and involving our global audience of explorers, bringing them right into the control room. The new live broadcast studio equips our team to share our story with students all around the world. And if you're an educator or community leader and would like to schedule a live ship to shore interaction for your class, click on the link above. We have big exploration goals and we needed a bigger back deck to accomplish them. To do this, we commissioned a four meter deck extension to lengthen Nautilus to 68 meters. This built a bigger, safer working deck for deploying vehicles like ROVs Hercules and Argus, and also space for future collaborations with autonomous vehicles. We showcased this layout in 2021 with our Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute technology demonstration, bringing three new pieces of tech on board. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out. They're a great preview to the future of ocean exploration. One new piece of equipment you might have spotted on deck is a new crane. This Gera folding knuckle boom crane has four ton working load, allowing us to lift and deploy equipment from both sides of the ship with greater flexibility than we've had in the past. On the bridge, our officers control a new updated engine, allowing them to efficiently move the ship in coordination with the exploration needs. This engine produces over 1700 horsepower carrying us at around 12 knots of cruising speed. With the addition of the new cabins, Nautilus is now home to up to 50 scientists, mariners, and innovators who all make our expeditions possible. Our data lab is where science, mapping, and data engineering teams gather to plan missions, write dive reports, and process data. This is also where our mapping team processes the multi-beam data gathered on expeditions. The recently refreshed wet lab has workspace for biological, geological, chemical, and water sample processing as those samples come back from the seafloor and the water column. Like the data lab, the space was built to be flexible so the area can adapt to the needs of dozens of scientists who join us on expedition throughout the season. We love this ship and showcasing it and all the ways that you can join us on expedition. We look forward to you coming along and continuing to explore with us on our next adventure of discovery.